lot at about the same price as if you were buying uh, fresh produce that was grown on an outdoor farm. Today, we're able to be field uh, competitive with the pricing for the field farmer. And what we're offering them is actually a better product, so better value ultimately to the consumer. Better tasting, more nutritious, locally grown, and the fact is uh, we're able to do different varieties that are hard to find. We eat a lot of rocket leaf, we call it rocket leaf in South Africa, Yeah. Um, with, with meats, like with steak or chicken sure. salads, and often it's quite peppery, the flavor. How do you control the flavor, pepperiness in the system? Well, that's one of the things that we think about all the different that's attributes, good. right? Mm -hmm. So. People enjoy rocket, particularly wild rocket, because of that pepperiness. That's one of the things that we focus on, is how do we give it a lot of bold flavor. And it's great, accompanying great dishes, like I just mentioned. Uh, by actually looking at over 30 different data, 1,000 different data points, we're able to optimize the right growing environment for the plants. And so there's different levers that we have, different stresses we can create. We can make something more peppery, something more sweet, something crunchier. We can actually even change the leaf in terms of the shape and size. Uh, and it's all taking, you know, leveraging science. There's a new way of growing where it's, it's science, uh, meets engineering, meets data science. And it's not genetically modified? Not genetically modified at all. So there's nothing available actually currently from a seed standpoint. We're taking that exact same seed out of the field, you plant it, and you hope for the best. Here, we plant it, and you know exactly what we're going to get.